everyone in today's class we will be seeing how to create uh, tables with uh, calls span and row span attributes so html tables can have cells that span over multiple rows and columns in this example uh, we will be seeing how to create a time table in this particular way uh, so this is how we are going to create uh, the time table so where in time table over here is nothing but the header cell uh, the header cell will be having the title of the table. So the title of the table is time table, right? Uh, so what is this particular title? The title provide uh, certain information like what this table is all about. And this title is spanning across all the columns over here. Uh, so to uh, certain, sometimes this is meaningful, right? We just want the title to span across all the columns over here. So we can achieve this kind of uh, spanning across the rows or columns by using two attributes. The first one is the call span attribute. The call span attribute is used to span over multiple columns. Okay. So here, for example, timetable. So this is uh, one particular row, but this is spanning across or this is extending across uh, uh, how many columns? So there are uh, seven columns over here. So this timetable is spanning across all the seven columns. So to create such kind of things, we'll be using an attribute which is called as call span. Okay. Uh, so the other attribute is nothing but the row span. So the row span is used to span across, uh, span over multiple rows. Okay. So span across multiple rows. For example, you can see hours over here. So this hours is spanning across multiple rows over here. So these attributes, both the attributes are uh, can be applied along with the TD tag and along with the TH tag. Okay, so these are considered to be TD and TH tags attributes. Now TD stands for the table data and TH stands for the table header. So the table headers and the table data both can span across the rows and also across the columns. Uh, so if you just uh, recollect uh, uh, using Excel sheets, uh, in the spreadsheets, we generally use the merge option, right? So this provides this kind of call span and row span, uh, provides the same functionality like merging the cell in Excel sheets and all that. Okay, and uh, the value that you provide. So how this attribute will be is, right, when you uh, put this attribute in uh, the code, so the attribute uh, will look something like this. So we'll be saying call span is equal to, so call span is equal to, so you need to give a value over here. So the value attribute and the value. So the value should be a positive number. The value should be a positive integer. Okay, so it should be a whole number. So you can just provide uh, some value over there and the value should be a positive number. So let me open the notepad and let us try to create this kind of timetable. This is the basic skeleton of my HTML uh, code. So inside the body tag, I am giving the table tag. So uh, the table, I'm just setting the border is equal to one. Uh, we already have discussed all this concept in the previous videos. So I'm not going to get into that details. Uh, so uh, then I just want to set the background color of this timetable to be yellow, right? So here we have yellow part. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll set the style. So I'll take the style attribute and then I'm saying background, okay, color. So background color, then uh, the background color is nothing but yellow. So I'm saying yellow, okay? So I just have set the color, background color of the cells of the table to be yellow. So this is what I have done. If you still want certain other things like uh, cell spacing, so I'm giving the cell spacing to be one, okay? So it is two pixels, right? But here I'm reducing it to one pixel. By default, it is two pixels. I'm reducing it to one pixel, right? Uh, so this is my table tag. And you need to have a off tag for the table. So this is the off tag. So I'm just uh, uh, putting that also so that I don't forget at the end. And here uh, I started giving my rows, okay? So the first row, inside the first row. So for the first row also, I am just uh, giving the off tag. Uh, so inside the first row, I have a table heading, right? Uh, so I'll be taking the 
ph tag let me just give what is the data inside the uh, what is the heading so the heading is the timetable right so the first row is nothing but the timetable so i just have given the timetable and i'm closing the th tag okay now where i need to put this particular particular call span so this call span will be inside this th tag okay so inside this th tag i'm saying call span so how many columns it is spanning 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right so i'm saying call span is equal to so this is a value so it is like 7 so i'm putting 7 and uh, so this timetable background color is pink color is in pink color so what i'll do is i'll again use the style attribute uh, so i'll take this style attribute over here and I'm placing this style attribute here. And what is the background color that I require? I require the background color to be pink. So I just have put pink over here. Okay. So this is my first row. So uh, I just have finished my first row. So let me go on to the second row. So let me just start off my second row. So this is the off tag of my second row. So inside the second row, I'm having hours, right? So let me just put hours. Uh, so inside this, I'm taking again th. So th, uh, then what I require, so I require hours. So I'm just writing hours over here. And uh, then of this th tag. So this hours is spanning across the rows. Okay, so across multiple rows. So I'll be using row span is equal to so how many rows this hours is spanning? So this hours is spanning across seven rows. Okay. So I'm putting seven over here. Okay. And uh, then, uh, so you, you want the color of this to be in green color. So just come here and put green over here. So it is green, right? Um, so what I did is hours color is in white color, right? Uh, so I'm just doing that uh, by saying the color of the text to be white. So I just have put white over here. Uh, so this is what I have done uh, regarding the styling. Okay, right. I have uh, kept the background color to be green and the text color to be white. Okay, right. Uh, so this is my second row. And coming to the third row. So what I require. So again, I need the third row. So TR tag and then this is the off tr tag and uh, inside this so uh, uh, i need to put monday tuesday wednesday and all that so i'm taking th tag uh, so i'm just putting monday uh, then i'm not doing any styling to this because the background color is uh, uh, yellow so that is enough for me i need all that uh, is of the week uh, so i'm putting monday then tuesday then this will become Wednesday, then Thursday, and this is Friday, and uh, then we have one more, which is Saturday. Okay, so these are all the uh, headings. I'm just putting it as the heading. So Saturday. Okay, so this is what I have done here, and uh, then we'll start one more uh, row. Uh, for inserting the periods okay right uh, so i said tr so they then again this is the of uh, tr and then inside this so i'm taking it to be like the data table data so wherein i just want to distinguish the header from the data the data will be uh, the normal text the th tag will put the data in the content in the bold one okay so this will td will put the data in the normal text so what is the first one so which is dbms uh, but uh, so let me close this and tell you okay so this is the off tag of it uh, so let me just put all the periods so what are all the periods here dbms and then we have uh, uh, so Okay, so the second period is WT. So I just have put WT here. And the third one is OAD. So I have put OAD here. Then this is uh, JP. Okay, uh, so Julia programming. And then uh, OR. And then uh, this is uh, COA. Okay, right. Uh, 
but as you can see that uh, here DBMS is spanning across two rows. Okay, so as DBMS is spanning across two rows, so I'm saying row span. Okay, so row, row span is equal to, so how many rows it is spanning? It is spanning across two rows. So I'm just giving two over here. Okay, so this is regarding my first uh, uh, entry and uh, I'll do the uh, second entry also in the similar way. So I'll be giving it uh, this way. Okay. Um, so here in, I don't want uh, this DBMS. I just want the other uh, things, right? So DBMS is already there. Uh, so what is this? Uh, the first one is OR. So I'll just put OR here. And uh, then again, we have WT. And then what is the third one, which is COA. And then, okay, whatever it is. Okay, OAD. And then this is J. Okay. So this is uh, there in the second entry. So next we have on uh, uh, entry, which is nothing but uh, uh, a lunch break. So how do we do that? So I'm saying this is TR and uh, the of TR again. And uh, then inside this, I am having a heading. So this is a heading. So table heading like, so I want it to appear in bold and it is spanning across uh, six columns. So I'm saying span, all span is equal to, so I have given six over here and uh, then we have some styling, right? So we have some pink color here. So I'm saying style, uh, then take this and we'll paste over here. And then what is the color of it? The color of this is some plum. Okay, so I'm just giving some plum over here and uh, close the th tag and what is the title so it is lunch break okay so then of the th tag so this is what i have done here in the next row okay so in the next row and all that you can just uh, have the previous things and just copy the uh, previous content and then just paste it once again okay right so the rest of the two rows will be in this manner, okay? Right. After you make all the entries so into the table row, uh, finally you will be having an off table tag and then the body of tag and then the HTML of tag. So let me show you the output of it. Okay, so this is the table that we have created, right? So this is how it appeared. Uh, so we have created the timetable uh, or title over here, which is spanning across uh, seven columns and then we have hours which is spanning across um, seven rows and then we have the lunch which is spanning across six uh, uh, columns and so on. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.